Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is Dr. Magid Abdullah and you are watching Edu Magid. Conceptual understanding and procedural fluency, what, when, and why. Conceptual understanding and procedural fluency are two important aspects of learning that are essential for mastering a subject or skill. Conceptual understanding. Conceptual understanding refers to having a deep understanding of the underlying principles, relationships, and connections between ideas and a particular subject or topic. It involves understanding the big picture and how all the pieces fit together. Conceptual understanding is important because it enables learners to apply their knowledge to real-world situations and solve complex problems. What? Conceptual understanding involves understanding the why behind concepts and procedures. It requires learners to have a strong foundation of knowledge and a deep understanding of the key ideas and concepts in a particular subject or topic. When to emphasize. Conceptual understanding should be emphasized at the beginning of learning, especially when introducing a new subject or topic. It is important to develop a strong foundation of knowledge and understanding before moving on to more complex topics. Why emphasize. By developing a strong conceptual understanding, Learners can gain a deep understanding of a subject or topic. This will enable them to apply their knowledge to real-world situations and solve problems more effectively. Steps for developing conceptual understanding. Start with the basics, introduce key concepts and ideas to learners to help them build a foundation of knowledge. Example, in math, this might involve introducing the concept of addition or subtraction. Encourage exploration and inquiry. Encourage learners to explore and ask questions to deepen their understanding of the subject or topic. Example, in science, learners might conduct experiments or research to better understand a particular concept. Make connections, help learners see the connections between different concepts and ideas within the subject or topic. Example, in social studies, learners might learn about the connections between historical events and their impact on current events. Apply knowledge. Encourage learners to apply their knowledge to real-world situations and solve problems. Example, in language arts, learners might analyze a piece of literature and apply their knowledge of literary elements to explain the author's purpose. Procedural fluency. Procedural fluency refers to the ability to perform a set of procedures or algorithms quickly and accurately. It involves knowing how to complete a task or procedure without necessarily understanding the underlying principles or concepts. What? Procedural fluency involves understanding the how behind procedures and algorithms. It requires learners to have a lot of practice with a particular procedure or algorithm. When to emphasize? Procedural fluency should be emphasized after learners have developed a strong conceptual understanding of a particular subject or topic. Once learners have a good understanding of the concepts and ideas, they can start practicing procedural fluency to develop their skills further. Why emphasize? Procedural fluency helps learners develop automaticity, which means they can perform tasks quickly and accurately without having to think through each step. This is important because it allows learners to solve problems efficiently and effectively. Steps for developing procedural fluency. Break the skill down into smaller parts. To develop procedural fluency, it's essential to break down the skill into smaller parts or steps. This enables you to focus on each step and understand how it fits into the larger skill. You can use resources like textbooks, online tutorials, and instructional videos to help you break down the skill into manageable parts. Practice each step separately. Once you have broken down the skill into smaller parts, practice each step separately until you have mastered it. This involves repeating the step multiple times until it becomes automatic. Combine the steps. Once you have mastered each step, combine them to complete the entire skill. Practice the skill repeatedly until you can complete it accurately and efficiently. Monitor your progress. As you practice, monitor your progress to determine how well you are improving. This involves keeping track of your speed, accuracy, and overall performance. You can also seek feedback from a teacher or mentor to help you identify areas for improvement. Gradually increase the difficulty. Once you have mastered the skill, gradually increase the difficulty level by adding more complex variations or challenges. This enables you to apply the skill to a range of contexts and situations. 
practice regularly. To maintain procedural fluency, it's important to practice regularly. This involves setting aside dedicated time to practice the skill, even if it's just a few minutes each day. Regular practice helps to reinforce the skill and prevent forgetting. Use the skill in real life situations. Finally, to develop procedural fluency, it's important to apply the skill in real life situations. This enables you to see how the skill works in different contexts and situations and reinforces your understanding and mastery of the skill. To conclude, conceptual understanding and procedural fluency are important skills that can be applied in various domains. Conceptual understanding involves grasping the fundamental principles and ideas underlying a concept, while procedural fluency refers to the ability to carry out procedures with ease and accuracy. Mastering both skills is essential for success in any field, as it enables learners to apply their knowledge effectively and efficiently. Therefore, it is important to focus on developing both conceptual understanding and procedural fluency in order to excel in any chosen field. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational content. Thank you.